Hmm. In the posterior relationship, there is a bones, one is a clavicle and a sternum, and the sternum, body of the sternum, including zip eye process, and the upper six ribs and their cartilages. These things are anteriorly covered by the pectoralis major muscle. These things are present in the back side of the pectoralis major. And there is a in between the and I'm sorry, in the back side there is a two important, three important muscles are there. One is a serratus anterior, another one is a pectoralis minor, and here the small portion and the part of this subclavus muscle is there. When subclavus muscle is a very sharp, it is present in between the first rib. First rib is located here. Here there is a first rib. In between the first rib and the clavicle, and at this region, and there is a subclavus muscle is there. Subclavus muscle. So this subclavus muscle, first in the back side, back, there is a subclavus muscle, subclavus muscle, pectoralis minor muscle, pectoralis minor, minor muscle and serratus, serratus anterior muscle. Serratus anterior, these three things and they are located in the back side of the pectoralis major. The ring here, this one is a triangular shape. This one, it is called by the pectoralis minor. So, pectoralis minor muscle, it is arising from the outer surface of the ribs, third, fourth, fifth ribs, and the essence upwards, they are. The muscle fibers of the pectoralis minor, they ascend upwards and they are inserted into the this uh, corporal process of the scapula. So immediately back to the pectoralis major muscle and uh, there is a pectoralis minor muscle is In between the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, and in the cerebral in the middle of the pectoral region, there is a medial pectoral nerve is there. At the terminal part and here. And there is a uh, there is a this uh, lateral pectoral nerve is there. Mean medial pectoral nerve should be very respect. There is a lateral pectoral nerve and thoracoabdominal thoracoabdominal artery. There is a branch of the axillary artery, and these things are situated in between the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor muscle. Mean in the back side of the pectoralis major muscle. There is a medial pectoral nerve and a lateral pectoral nerve and the thoracoacromial artery and the thoracoacromial artery. These things are located and the, in the in the back side of the in the back side of the pectoralis major muscle and further back side and further back way and if you are going to the further back side and there is a pectoral fascia is there. And we are discussing in this reason. So here there is a subclavus muscle, and uh, in between the pectoral, this this one is a pectoralis minor muscle. This is a this is a pectoralis. This one is a pectoralis minor muscle. Pectoralis minor. So here are what happens? And in this region there is a an axillary artery and axillary vein is there. So this one is a axillary vein. This is the axillary vein, axillary vein, and behind this there is a axillary artery is there. This one is a axillary artery. So axillary artery, axillary vein, they are located in the back side of the clavicular.
pectoral fascia. The clammy pectoral fascia and it is present in between the subclavus and the pectoral spinal muscle. And the further back side here, and there is a brachial flexus. This one is a brachial flexus. The brachial is the brachial flexus in the nose. And this one is a axillary, axillary artery, artery. And this one is a axillary vein. So here, if you are coming from superficial to deep, and here the skin is there, and deeper than the skin in a female, and there is a base in the superficial fascia. The male also there is a superficial fascia. But there is a rudimentary condition, the breast is rudimentary condition in a case of the male. In the female, and it is a well developed, and then here there is a breast tissue is there. Breast tissue means there is a lacrimal gland, lacrimal sinus, lacrimal gland, and suspensory elements, and the fat, and the, these things, and the, the, they are situated in the superficial fascia, in the pectoral region. But in the upper part, there is a plasma muscle is there. In the back side of this superficial fascia, and there is a deep fascia is there. So this deep fascia area it is called by the pectoral fascia. In the back side of the pectoral fascia, and there is a pectoralis major muscle is there. And in the medial side, and uh, there is a cutaneous branches from second to the sixth intercostal nerve. Now so there is a terminal branches, and uh, they are located in front of the pectoralis major muscle. And in the superior side, and there is a super, supra clavicular, I mean the medial supra clavicular nerve and the lateral supra clavicular, I am sorry, intermediate supra clavicular nerve are there, they are present in front or within the and superficial fascia. So, here the superficial fascia in the pectoral region superiorly contains the two nerves. Which nerves? One is a medial. Medial supraclavicular nerve and intermediate supraclavicular nerve. The muscle, it is the, 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 the in front of this and there is a plasma muscle is there. And now uh, artery and uh, in the terminal branches of the intercostal arteries and the uh, terminal branches <coughs> of the uh, perforating mammary arteries, uh, the, that artery is the branch of the internal thoracic artery. These things are suspended in the superficial fascia. Deeper than that, and there is a deep fascia. These things are present in front of the pectoralis major muscle. Next is the back side of the pectoralis major muscle. The back side of the pectoralis major muscle, and there is a climbing pectoral fascia. In the superior medial side, and there is a subclavus muscle. Is there. And this one is a subclavus muscle. Subclavus, subclavus muscle, subclavus muscle. And uh, just in figure at this reason, and there is a pectoralis minor muscle is there. That is present deeper than the pectoralis major muscle, or posterior to the pectoralis major muscle. And here there is a pectoralis minor muscle is there. And here, and uh, the nerve, <coughs> sorry, this vein, and uh, it is going to, you know, inside the, this, uh, it ends into the Separate vein that ends into the axillary vein. So this is this one is an axillary vein. Axillary vein when it pierces the clavicular pectoral fascia and it enters into the this uh, axillary vein and it gives the thoracoacromial artery. So this thoracoacromial artery and it is a branch of the this uh, axillary artery and it pierces the clavicular pectoral fascia and uh, it comes like this. And uh, you know, this is a thoracoacromial artery. So thoracoacromial acromial artery, and here, and uh, it is present in the back side of the pectoralis major muscle. And in the nerves, there is a two nerves are there. I am giving only one, and that is formed by the medial pectoral nerve and the lateral pectoral nerve. But the lateral pectoral nerve is located in this region, in this region. But medial pectoral nerve. It is located in, the, in, in this region. In here, what happens? In the back side of the pectoralis major muscle.
there is a surplus in terms of time and there is a there is a petrolis minor person and in between these two and there is another deep patient there that is called by the private petrol patient so private petrol patient supply is person and petrol is major person axillary vein axillary artery and its branches in the major petrol and the brachial uh, uh, plexus branches and uh, these things are they are located in the back side of the petrolis major muscle are deeper than the petrolis major muscle once again the relations of the petrolis major superficial relations there is a skin and deeper than the skin there is a superficial fascia there the superficial fascia superiorly there is a platys muscle this one the platys muscle is there that is present in the superficial fascia not in the deep fascia and the medial side there is a uh, arteries the perforating mammary branches the, the perforating mammary branches they arise from second to fifth uh, fifth intercostal space and from the internal thoracic artery they supply the rest so and the terminal branches of the perforating mammary branches they are present in the superficial fascia in the medial side and here and the nerves the intercostal nerves the intercostal nerves second to sixth intercostal nerve terminal branches they are also present in the superficial fascia this superficial fascia and that is attached to the attached attached to the this deep fascia mean here it is a petrol fascia and this petrol fascia it covers the anterior surface of the petrolis major muscle these are the anterior relations and also to there is a uh, superior thoracic artery you know and superior thoracic artery is there and that also present is the terminal branches and the thoracic abdominal artery terminal branches and the they are present the 